First, start off by twisting off the lid on your sprayer. Remove the strainer basket from the sprayer tank opening and set aside. Next, look inside your sprayer and locate the inlet filter near the bottom of the sprayer tank. It looks like a rubber elbow with a mesh filter. Reach inside the tank and gently wiggle the inlet filter off of the pump barb. This would be a good time to clean off the filter screen on your inlet filter by pouring fresh water on it and wiping it with a clean cloth. Take a garden hose, place it inside the tank on the barb where the inlet filter was connected. Direct a strong flow of water through the hose and into the barb. Once the hose has been removed, you can reattach the inlet filter to the barb. Place the tank strainer at the opening and secure the tank lid. Finally, test the sprayer by turning it on and activating the trigger. First, twist and remove the spray gun from the end of the hose. Place the end of the hose in a bucket of water, allowing the water to enter the hose. It might help to bend and move the hose. Place the spray gun back on the end of the hose and reattach it. Remove the lid and fill the sprayer with around a gallon of fresh water. Turn the sprayer on and rapidly activate the trigger on the spray gun.